Hello everyone, this is attorney Ayhan Agmin and I'm in front of you today to share one of the latest news we have. USCIS has just recently announced that there's a policy change for change of status to F1 statuses. Basically for change of status applications that filed uh, for F1 status. You know, as you know that USCIS historically only granted change of status to F1 statuses for the applicants if they maintain their status up to 30 days before their program start date. It also brought additional requirements where the applicant had to file initial change of status and also extension of status applications, additional applications, to maintain their status up to 30 days program start date on their I-20 forms. And this really created, you know, cost uh, and time to USCIS, to the government, and also to applicants to deal with to paying those additional expenses. To clear this workload actually on USCIS and cost on the government and the applicants, USCIS issued this new policy where now the applicants don't have to file additional extension of status status to maintain their status until uh, their program start date as USCIS historically only granted change of status applications to the applicants whose program start date was within 30 days of approval basically once they get approval their program had to start within 30 days if not they had to maintain uh, their status otherwise they will be violating actually uh, their statuses so because of this new policy change now if the applicants are granted change of status to F1 they're fine um, you know uh, so that if it's within in the 30 days of the program they can start their program but if it is before the 30 days of uh, their program start date they'll be still in the valid status but they have to maintain that they have to maintain their status until their uh, program start date but without actually filing any additional uh, subsequent application which was called b2 bridges so there's no requirements anymore for the applicants for change of status to f funds to file those subsequent applications this is a great news and and all they have to do if their um, status change of application is approved way before their program start date all they have to do maintain their status that means they cannot work without authorization or they cannot do campus you know authorized work until actually their authorized school start they you know starts basically it's not going to be before 30 days before that so this new change um, soon hopefully we'll be able to see this update it's on the uh, 539 uh, instructions it's a great news to actually the students uh, that the young you know students or who are applying to change their status uh, not to deal with this additional stress and additional cost and i hope this helps you guys and talk to you soon